today is all about recycling. How many times have we thrown away things that we possibly could have recycled? Well, today I'm going to show you just how to do that. Well, you know I do a lot of my shopping at Sam's Whole Food Club because I have a lot of kids and so therefore it suits my needs to shop there. I shop at other stores for things, but Sam, I can buy things in bulk that will accommodate my family. As you can see, I have this grease container on, this, on the counter. And this is a 35 pound jug of vegetable cooking grease. This is what I buy. This is one of the things that I buy in bulk from Sam. Normally, I think it's a, like, it costs around about $25 for this, but it would last an entire month, a little bit over a month for my family. Now, I used to throw these away. I don't throw them away anymore, and you probably have seen in some other videos where I had them sitting on the floor. So now I keep them. This is a good thing to recycle, and I'm going to show you a couple of ideas that you can do. If you are a Sam Club shopper or any kind of wholesale uh, shopper, you have a restaurant or you just buy in bulk like I, bulk, like I do, this is good. Okay, what you would do is remove this from this carton or the box, the container that it comes in. Be very careful not to hurt yourself. You would take it out of the box just like this and it's going to slide out. Okay, so this is what you're left with. You can discard this. This is one of the things we don't want to recycle unless you have it on trash day where they recycle cardboard boxes. You can keep that for another recycling day. Okay, once you take this out, it may have just a little bit of the grease left inside of it. I would suggest that you clean it out. Go by your local dollar store and pick up this. This is what you call LA Awesome and it only costs one dollar. If you don't want to buy that, you can go buy um, Walmart and pick up whatever your favorite favorite cleaning item is but for one dollar you can't beat that and this stuff does truly an awesome job try that also with your favorite cleaning detergent I want you to use a little bit of your favorite cleaning detergent I use this because it only costs one dollar along with this LA awesome and I also use just a little bit of bleach now what you want to do is thoroughly clean this out you want to clean it out with the three items I just mentioned a little bit of your cleaning solution, which this is good. Go by the Dollar Tree and you pick this up. This is really good for all purpose around your house cleaning. Use a little bit of the soap soda. And we're going to clean that really, really good. And now, once you have cleaned it, you can make anything you want out of this. This can become a piggy bank or a bank to store your money. And I'm going to tell you one of the great things that I created with my gallon, my 35 gallon jug. I went ahead and cleaned it real good. I took some glue and I sealed around the top portion of it, closed it up. I took a knife. You can They have this instrument or this tool you can buy from any craft store where you can um, carve into plastic wood or whatever the case may be. But I did something that, I used something that I had around my house and that was a knife. I heat the knife, an old knife up and I melted a line to open an insert in the very top. So now I have created me a bank, a corn bank. So I can put this out of sight, out of mind, and just every time I have change, instead of spending my change, I don't spend my change. I just drop it in here. I put all my silver coins in here. You can do one for silver coins, and you can do one for your pennies. So all my quarters, quarters, nickels, and dimes goes in here, and I have another one that's mainly for pennies. So I'm going to see how well I can discipline myself to save at least halfway, and then the beauty of it is later finding out how much you have saved. Another great tip of using these container jugs. Let me see, can I pick it up? This is very heavy. Okay, here's another great tip you can use this jug for. I have gone ahead already and I cleaned this one out very well and filled this with water. After I cleaned it very well, I went ahead and filled it with water with a little bleach in it and let it set for a day, poured that out, put some fresh water inside of this container, and now I have a traveling jug I can use and take wherever I want to go. If you have a deep freezer, you can freeze the entire thing, and then when you're ready to use it, take it along with you on your trip, and you have some fresh drinking water. You would never have to spend or splurge on things that 
like I said, the things that we have around our house. But these jugs are going downtown. Um, I also use them to clean and fill up, and I take it to the homeless people under the bridge because they don't have water. So they would use this for a week or two. Sometimes I'll go back and pick it up if I don't have any extra ones. Or if I have extra ones, I pretty much just do the same thing over and over again. But I pick them up, clean them out, and redo it again. Take the water down there to them so they can have for drinking. Whatever they need it for, they would have some fresh water. And this would last them about a week. So that's a good idea as well. So, you know, on this page, sharing is caring. And that's another great tip you can do as well. Okay, my last thing. Once you clean this out, there's another great use for this. You can actually carve. This, this one's kind of sticky. I had to clean these last few, few ones that I have. You can take the instrument I was talking about to sell at the craft store. It's a heating element that burns into the plastic. You can burn into the plastic, open flip that back, and then flip both sides back, and then you have a storage container. You can take you some cold bottled waters, in, uh, your favorite beverage, put it that way, and you can carry the handle this way and put all your drinks and everything else in the bottom. One last very important thing I, I need to mention. For those of you who are buying the coolers to go with the little sprout in the middle you can cut the insert right here in the middle by the sprout attach it to the front part go in from the from the top part with a long instrument of some sort hold it in place screw it and then you have your automatic drink dispenser there are so many ways that we can use the things that we have around our house, but normally we don't take the time to figure it out. We're just so eager and so ready to throw it away. So, I hope you've enjoyed the time we've shared together in learning how to recycle some of the things.